Hello everyone, welcome back to UK Fat Man. Today I am doing a dish from the East End of London. Now, the East End of London is very notorious for things like, you know, Jack the Ripper, Victorian slums, kids with dirty faces and dressed in rags playing in the street. It's got an old dock and port that is now probably one of the biggest developments in Europe, in Canary Wharf. But it's got a proud people, proud, diverse population, people that work hard, play hard, even if it is dancing and singing to Chaz and Dave. The people, you know, they love their sport. They love West Ham, a lot of them, like me. And one food that Cockneys, East Londoners, are a bit partial to, not myself, I must admit, a jelly deals, and the dish I'm going to try and create today, pie and mash. There are pie and mash shops all over the East End, and I'm going to have a stab at a meat-free version. It's not going to be the same, um, I know that, and I'll probably get absolutely crucified for this, but I'm going to give it a go and see if I can come even remotely close to a traditional pie and mash. So, got these pies from Tesco's meat-free pies, and they're not going to be the same as the pies at all. We know that straight away that you would get in an East End pie mash shop. But I've had them before, and they don't taste that bad. Cooking 37 minutes, 307 calories, a nice pastry, different to the pastry you'd get in traditional pie and mash, because there's a kind of suet-based pastry, and also the chunks that are in this pie are kind of like trying to be recreate steak chunks, whereas a traditional pie and mash would be like mince. But, you know, they looked okay. And I thought, you know, if I just try and create the mash, try and create the liquor, I might just get away with coming, you know, as close as I possibly could to a traditional East End pie and mash dish. But of course, without the meat in the pie. So once I've got those uh, pies in the oven, obviously, need to cook my potatoes, start boiling the potatoes. So I've got them on. And the reason why I'm not, you know, there's no sound from the video isn't because of any technical problem, but the twins, if you've seen my videos before, you might have seen my twins, they were being so boisterous on this day. So you'll have to apologise for no sound on the video and just accept my voiceover. So with the pie and the mash, comes the liquor, which is a parsley based type of gravy. So I needed to, I had a look on the internet, needed to try and recreate this liquor that you get with a traditional pie and mash. So first job, chop up the uh, parsley and then make a roux sauce, a couple of tablespoons of butter, get that melted down um, on the pan and add about a tablespoon, a heap tablespoon of flour. Just then just mix that all in together to make a roux sauce. And then it was time to make about a pint, I think it was about a pint of vegetable stock. Now, I guess you could use chicken stock or beef stock. I think in the uh, in the olden days, the traditional pie and mash shops used the, the, the liquid that they used to cook the eels in. Whether they still do or not, I don't know. If you know, please do leave me a comment. So once I've got that done, added the parsley, gave it a good whisk and then let it simmer on a low heat whilst I started on my mashed potatoes. Now I love mash, don't know about you, but I love mashed potatoes and everyone's got their own way of doing it. For me, I like to add a big dollop of very low fat cream cheese, about half a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, bit of salt and pepper, not too much. And then to make it a really nice smoothie mash, smooth mash consistency, just a dash of milk, and I really kind of give that a good pummeling, <laughs> really gets a really nice smooth mashed potato. So that was done, and it was time to get the pies out of the oven, which, to be honest with you, they don't look too bad, do they? Okay, they're not traditional East End pies, but they don't look too bad. Oh, and I burnt my fingers, of course. Top tip. When you get stuff out of the oven, it's generally going to be hot. And so that was it. Pie down, mashed down, and then it was time for that finishing touch, that parsley liquor. 
And I've never had liquor before, even though I've lived in London and the South East for so many years, I've never had liquor before. So I don't really have anything to compare it to. However, my partner Gemma, she's pie and mad mad. Pie and mash mad. She loves pie and mash. Gets it quite a lot, as does our a nan, goes and takes it to her nan and granddad. And she said it was pretty much bang on. So for me, I'm pleased about that. So there you go. A traditional pie, mash and liquor with a meatless pie. And I've got to admit, I really enjoyed it. I should have done a, a clip of a video of me opening the pie, but it was really tasty. So thanks for watching. Really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And then if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll let you know when I upload another video. Thanks for watching.